have the Samsung Galaxy S24 and I'll be showing you how to use AI or Samsung AI to basically move objects in a photo. So let's say you have a photo like just any photo. So it could be a subject, human being, or even an object. So for instance, we have this uh, person here. Let's say I want to move this person closer in this photo. So to do that, the first thing you have to do is make sure AI is enabled in your Samsung Galaxy's photo editor. So go to settings. On the main settings page, scroll down to advanced features, tap on that, and then go to advanced intelligence at the top there. And then you have from all these features, go to photo editor, tap on it, and then make sure that is turned on. And that basically means you've now enabled generative AI into the photo editor. So now you can go back to the photo and then tap on the edit tool and that should open the normal photo editor for Samsung. But this time you're going to have this AI button, this uh, little circle with stars here. And if you tap on that, it's going to allow you to do some generative AI stuff with your photos. So let's try and move this person. So what you want to do is circle around the object or subject you want to move. And then it's going to uh, select it and then you can long press on it and then move the subject to a different position okay now you can also make the subject bigger like that you can even tilt the subject and then once you do that you can now generate Okay, so this is basically a sample. So let's try and generate that. So it's going to generate and if there are any gaps left by the object you move, it's going to try and add, uh, recreate the image to fill in those gaps. So let, let's see what this one does. There you go. So now we have our new image, as you can see. Now you can always compare this to the original because you're going to always see the view original button here. So you can tap on it, look at the original, then let go and look at what you've just made. And if you like it, then you can just tap on done. Now, every image you edit using this is going to have a badge, okay? So as you can see, we have the original photo here, and then we have the photo we just edited, and it's going to have an AI badge at the bottom, the bottom corner, okay? This one right here. Okay, so we have that, uh, those, uh, the AI badge there. Now let's try and do this with an object. So I'll just go back to the gallery and find an object like this one, okay? So this is a water bottle, orange water bottle on my desk and we have some background there. Let's see how well it works with this one. So tap on the editor and then tap on the generative AI badge and then let me circle the water bottle and the AI should capture the water bottle uh, perfectly once you circle. Now, let me long press on this water bottle and try and move it somewhere like here. Let me try and use it to even cover that object on the table like that. You can even make it a little bigger. There you go. And then let's see how well the AI uses it, uh, how well the phone uses AI to cover up this space. Okay. So tap on generate and let it do its thing. So just be, just be patient. There you go. So it did add something to the image. I'm not sure what that is, but then the water bottle has been moved and it tries its best to cover up the left space. And you can always compare to the original. Look at that. So let go. Look at that. There you go. And you can even see uh, it knows this bottle is clear. And you can see through the bottle and see this black tile here. So if you look at the original, when you place the bottle, you can still see through the bottle and see where the tile passes through. So it's very, very brilliant. So to save, just tap on that. Now, it's going to, it might generate 
uh, different things when you edit the same photo the same way. For instance, I have this photo I have just generated. I had the same edit produce this. It actually put the bottle here and created a virtual uh, small flower pot and put it in the space where the bottle was initially. So these are two different edits, two different results from uh, more or less the same edit. This is the original photo and you have both these uh, AI generated images with badges. And that is basically how to move objects in photos using AI on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Now I did use the S24 Ultra, but this works on all the Galaxy S24 phones. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.